So I don't know how I missed this, but Newsmax actually thought it was a good idea to air a segment where they attack Joe Biden's dog. Literally. Like, they viciously attack and criticize the appearance of Joe Biden's dog. I wish I were kidding, but unfortunately, uh, this is, uh, this is a thing that happened, and it is one of the most outrageous things I've ever seen from a supposed news outlet. Did you see the dog? Let's get, I want to show you something I noticed. Doesn't he look a little, uh, a little rough? <laughs> I love dogs, but this dog needs a, a bath and a comb and uh, all kinds of love and care. I've never seen a dog in the White House uh, like this. I've, I remember Buddy. I remember Millie. I remember lots of dogs, but not a dog who seems, I don't know. I don't know how much love and care he is getting. Let's bring in the historians. I, I'm having fun with this, obviously, but I, I, I do want to talk about some stuff. Craig Shirley, Reagan biographer, presidential historian. Craig, welcome back. And Doug Weed, presidential historian, former advisor to George H.W. Bush. That's the White House where I remember Millie. Millie had like a staff and they really took care of her. Very beautiful dog. This dog looks like from, I'm sorry, from the junkyard. And I love that dog, but he looks like he's not been well cared for. No, not, not at all. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Uh, no, he looks very dirty and disheveled and uh, very unlike a presidential dog like uh, Millie or Victory or something else in the past in the, uh, pre in the White House. Isn't it conservatives who say that the lefties are always looking for politics and everything and that everything is political to you? How can this not be you overly politicizing something? You're attacking a dog, an innocent dog. Because it looks like a junkyard dog, and it's dirty and disheveled, and very unlike a presidential dog. Hey, fuckface, the dog is 12 years old. 12 years old. That's like, what, 84 in dog years? And you're criticizing a dog? Listen, I don't care if they criticized Joe Biden. I don't care if they criticized Joe Biden's wife or his children. Hell, even if they criticized his grandchildren, that would be, like, a little bit too far. But where you cross the line is when you criticize animals. That is so fucked up. So beyond the pale for me as a dog lover. And how dare you call yourself a dog lover? Go fuck yourself. You don't love dogs. You're criticizing a fucking dog. That is so innocent. He's a good boy. He just wants scratches on his head. And you're going to say that he's a junkyard dog? Don't you have anything better to talk about? Like, they're assuming that it's fine. This is all fair game. Because if Donald Trump adopted a dog, then the left would criticize this dog, so we, we can criticize Joe Biden's dog. Except no, anyone who would criticize a dog that Donald Trump chose to adopt is a scumbag. It's a dog. Like, I, 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 just, I don't get this. Like, how shitty of a person do you have to be? Like, take a look at this video that they released. Um, this is the dog who you're criticizing. I mean, how is that not relatable? Like, you have the younger dog who's super hyper and energetic, and the older dog is just so tired of it. Like, this is the dog that you're criticizing. So, I mean, this is just... This is what partisan brain fucking worms... <laughs> even know what to call this looks like like when you hate joe biden so much that you're literally attacking his dog like you can disagree with joe biden's policies i have my disagreement with joe biden's policies albeit for different reasons but nonetheless i have a lot of disagreements with joe biden but why would your hatred of joe biden be so so far reaching that it even uh, applies to his dog who's completely innocent like Get a life. Like, what a fucking loser to attack a dog and say that his 12-year-old dog looks like a fucking junkyard dog because it's unpresidential. Go fuck yourself. What a loser. I love dogs. I've never seen a dog. I love weed. 